Alright, let's go on to subtopic number two, which is electric field. Okay, so in this subtopic, you should be able to define and use electric field string. Use this equation here for your point charge and then sketch the electric field string diagram. Uh, so it will be a maximum of four charges in 2D and then determine the electric field string for a system of charges again maximum four charge lah. right so what is electric field ba uh, basically electric field is a region in which an electric force will act on a charge that is placed in that region okay so whenever uh, for example there's a what do we call it? uh okay so there's an electron place somewhere there so the region where some part of the region it will experience an electric force okay so the electric force will act onto this uh electron or on this charge okay so this field here this region here is actually known as the electric field okay so that is what we will be learning now and we have to be able to determine how strong is the electric field lah, okay uh, the other definition is shown here i just feel that it's easier to understand from this sentence okay so the electric field around the charge can be represented by drawing a series of lines okay this can be seen below here so these lines this one here are known as the electric field lines also known as lines of force okay so from uh, from this diagram we know that for a positive charge it will go out of the charge and into the negative charge okay so it will always be from positive to negative okay so whenever you are drawing don't try to draw negative towards positive okay this is wrong it should be positive to negative okay uh, same goes when it is experiencing a repulsive force it will not be connected here it will be going away from each other okay so this electric field pattern uh, between different charge are shown here and they have their own characteristics that you have to know lah, okay so uh, the field line basically indicates the direction of the electric field lah, as you all know kan? and then the lines are drawn uh, so that the magnitude of the electric field is proportional to the number of lines crossing a unit area perpendicular to the lines okay it is uh, proportional lah to the number of lines crossing the unit area okay so basically what it's saying is if there's more lines here then the magnitude of the electric field should be higher in that place lah okay so and then the closer the lines the closer the lines closer the closer the lines the stronger the magnetic field lah okay and then the third one the electric field always starts on positive charges and end on negative charges okay and the number of starting or ending is proportional again proportional to the magnitude of the charge okay all right uh, and then the field lines will never cross because there is no electric field that have the same value at the same point okay so they will never be like this okay they will always be separated lah, okay the closer the, the closer the lines mean the stronger the electric field on that particular area lah. okay itu je maksud dia right so uh, these are some of the electric field patterns uh, contohnya macam ni dia punya magnet the magnitude of the charge is double so they will be extra arrows lah okay it's not the same with this one there's no extra arrows because the magnitude is one this one is times bapala ratio dia contohnya okay all right uh that is that okay now we are looking on to the electric field string okay this is where we look on how to calculate uh the string of the electric field lah. okay so the electric field string is defined as the electrostatic force ataupun electric force per unit positive test charge okay per unit positive test charge that acts 
in the same direction as the force okay so mathematically it can be written as this one okay so we are looking for the electrostatic force lah, okay this one okay <clears throat> Uh, it is a vector quantity, so it has direction, and then the unit is Newton per coulomb atopun V over M volt per meter. Okay, so let's consider a task charge, uh, this one. So it is located at the distance R from a point charge. Okay, the task charge is basically small enough to leave the main charge configuration. So even if this charge left this configuration here it won't be disturbing the system okay and then according to coulomb's law we know that the electrostatic force is this one and then from the definition of electric field so when we substitute f into this equation here we can then get the equation here okay so this equation is important as this is how we will determine the string of an electric field okay Right, so Q is the magnitude of a point charge. Remember, this is the magnitude, okay? So, and then R is the distance between the point, uh, between a point, uh, between a point and test charge, I think. Did I wrote it wrongly? Let me check. Oh, no. Memang point and point charge. Uh, basically, distance between the charge, lah, between the two charge, okay? Alright, let me check if there's any theory. Okay, so that is the theory part for subtopic number two. Okay, so subtopic number two is focusing mainly on electric field and the electric field string. Okay, so from this subtopic, you should be able to draw this and also calculate, uh, solve any problems that involves this equation. All right. Okay, so that is subtopic 1.2.